Hello friends, welcome back to another quick little modding UI tutorial for 7 Days to Die Alpha 13 with your modder wrong with a bold. This one is based on uh, requests. A lot of people are, are really asking for uh, the food and water to be visible. And while I personally have come comfortable not having them, I can see why people want them. So I went ahead and did them. It's a tr pretty trivial one to do. So let's go ahead and just load up that game, my little preview testy thingamajigger. And there we go. So we've got our regular pop-out buffs. They'll go away here in a moment. And they should be going away. Fade, fade, fade. Okay. And then we have our active buffs section. And then below that, we've got... Stamina, health, um, food, and water. So see, easy, cheesy. I really wish that the ladders had some depth to them. Like, how hard would it be to make that not, you know, just make that be a model rather than? I know a texture is cheaper. I know. Okay. Anyway, let me show you how this is how this is done. So I've got I've got my clock and my temperature. Uh, you know the clock. Here's where you get to be really trifling. The clock could probably move over another ten pixels, maybe fifteen pixels, in order to center properly. But you, you can just get fiddly. I mean, you can get as fiddly as you want. Like right now, the uh, the active buffs, the space between the active buffs and where the other buffs are is a little much. So, oh, well, it's that time of night. And there are zombies. Uh, so let me show you how, how it happens. So in uh, XUI.XML, there is the... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, is it even really here? I don't think it's even really here. Yeah, it's the tool belt. So the tool belt contains the tool belt itself, which is at center bottom, and then left bottom and right bottom are the two um, stat bars, okay? So those windows, so HUD left stat is where I put it. HUD right stat, you can put it there as well. So in the windows.xml file, which is, where is it? Over here, uh, in the XUI, Windows XML, Okay, that's all you need to have and do and use is open that file up. And the very, very first thing listed is the window for HUD left that bars. All right. Now, there are these rectangle components, and each one of these rectangle components is one of those stat bars. And you just pass in the stat type, like I mentioned in the overview of the UI. So I just added, I basically duplicated those set food and water as my two stats. So if I want to, in different order, I can just reorder these. So right now it's the top to bottom. This is the order they appear on the thing. So if you wanted your food and water on top or anything else, you could just swap them, swap them around, swatch, swap them around as needed. And then at the bottom of it is another rectangle um, that is your, um, uh, sorry, after this grid. So there's a grid inside so a grid is any kind of repeating kind of stuff and then below that grid is another rectangle element and that is the buff pop out list so the only things you really got to worry about are make sure you pass in the right stat type okay it looks like right I, I there should be others that are accessible but every time i try the ones i get uh i get out of i get uh, index array not found fail fails so I am still going to play with those further because uh, it would be nice to get your core temp. I think would be nice. Um, so anyway, uh, that section, it's easy, easy, cheesy. They are exactly the same. All it is is the difference if, of the stat. Then you've got your rectangle for your pop-outs. So everything else comes down to positioning. So the position has to be adjusted up. So this is from the bottom left nine pixels over 200 pixels up and i can probably bring this down to 190 and then i could probably move this to 210 and i think that would work we'll test it um and then you've also got to change by default i think it's like one 
It's, uh, it's eighty. It's eighty-eight minus this, so it's like one twelve or one. Oh, sorry, one o two or one o three, something like that. Uh, Rose. Um, actually, I just need Rose. Rose four. Sorry. Oops. I don't need five. I need four. Uh, width, cell width, cell height. Repeat. This is the controller. Important. This gives us our data, and the side left. That's side over there. So that's it. And then the other thing you got to tweak is the positioning here. Um, again, you're basically you're going to be adding. You're adding two blocks. So I was adding one or so. So 44, I added 88, and then I added a little bit of padding as well because there's some space between. So I kind of guesstimated, threw it in there, and then opened up, tweaked it a few times, and then I got to a number that I liked. So really straightforward, really easy to do this mod. Um, I will have uh, this code in... um, It's a lot to put in the description field. Um, I will have this on my website, wrongwithabold.com, a little post about that. So you can just basically copy this section, boom, replace your HUD left stat bars, and Bob's your uncle, you've got food and water on your menu. All right, let's go ahead and take a look with those quick little changes. Let's see how it looks in-game. All right, well, it's a little better. I probably could move it a little bit further, but yeah. It's good enough. Oh, I also did something else. Let's go look at it. I want you to... Listen to that. Crickets. That's right. I removed the uh, the sound from the refrigerator because I just, I, I've just been so tired of the refrigerator making noise. It really shouldn't be. Let me show you how that's done. It's really easy. All right, in your sounds.xml file, there's a, on line 336, there's a sound data node for fridge LP. Just add something to the end of this so it can't find the file. No more fridge sound. So easy. <laughs> because really, if it, uh, yeah, uh, where's the power coming from? Eh, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's a quick and easy way to add those extra stat bars in. So if you guys like that, click the like button. Again, the code will be on wrongwithabold.com. There'll be a post uh, up there now. And otherwise, if you guys have more requests, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message on YouTube, and I will see what I can do for you. So for now, talk to you later. Bye.